Um, do you think there's any way that this nigga Tony's face is the first thing? Right. right. <laughs> do you think there's any way that a white person can come into hip hop? And avoid a culture vulture because you know they're calling them a culture vulture now. I don't think it's well. I think if you're white in hip hop, you're gonna you're gonna get the culture vulture yeah. label. But they did the same thing in academics. They just label they it did. differently. But, most yeah, he's like the white academics, right? Literally, like with this shit, right? Yeah. But isn't aren't aren't all media somewhat culture vultures? All they're media. vultures. But all they're media. Not that's that's cult- you can yeah. only be a culture vulture if you're not of the culture the race of that. Of the race, really? Because there's culture isn't just about race. Yeah. Culture it's is not, more about subset subgroups. You know what I'm saying? Well, you exactly. know, we're talking about black people. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. Like <laughs> hey, they're gonna put a color on it, though. They're gonna put a yeah, race. Yeah, on yeah. Color but I mean, if you're gonna be a media at all, you're gonna have to kind of be that in some way, mm-hmm. right? I mean, we're uh, would you say uh, feasting off of uh, Adam 22's carcass? Make sure. Oh yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. For sure. Yeah. Now, one thing I didn't like, Trapper Ross did say that he's not going to do a rise and fall of No Jumper because he doesn't feel like this is the fall of it. But you can mm. document this error and yeah. do it objectively. He can say something. Don't be trying to don't be trying to cut niggas slack because that's your boy. Wait, I, wait, go through this <clears throat> shit. Games yeah, go to yeah no world. yeah go back up. Go to go to his popular. Go to his popular videos. Go up more. All right, go to videos, mm-hmm. and then click popular. All right, I, I see some white people in there. I thought he was just All making right, bits about black people. So we got the Jacksonville's deadliest gang war. How the baby killed a guy in Walmart. The murder of FPG Doug. No limit. Chicago's deadliest gang. New York's deadliest gang war. How Rick Ross bankrupted Fifty Cent. Uh, <laughs> this nigga even did watch the Charlemagne Got a Drop video. Mm, oh, I didn't even see that one. Uh, it's that's short crazy. too. It's only thirteen minutes. Mm. <laughs> Two point. It was a short million. interaction. Two point six million views though. Uh, yeah. Uh, Eminem's mom old. suing for ten million dollars. So it's kind of, kind of. He's got a decent variety. Of course, uh, blood sport <clears throat> and murder is always going to be the most searched it's, thing in the it's world. The most right. I, thing. It's like yeah, like so. That's all. Like <laughs> if you do any video about that, it's going to rise at the top regardless. He's, he's toting that line pretty well though. Like he is. he's trying ter- to stay responsible with right, things, you know, right. That's pretty much what. That's pretty much what I'm looking at. Which like, is all you can hope for is that a nigga's being responsible. Like yeah. you can see the integrity that. Yeah, yeah. I can yeah. see the integrity. Every, other, yeah. every third video is like some nigga shit though. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, but it's yeah. and then it's hard to <laughs> it's hard to not to get those videos to go to the top when those get the most. Views. And it's hard not to make them when they get the votes. Like, exactly, right. exactly, exactly. So, yeah, I would say integrity wise, Trap Lord Ross. D- I mean, I just I feel like just based off the quality of his videos, that already proves his integrity. The of amount content. of research he does, he had to research. switch the time yeah. zones to make sure that the tweets matched up with the story correctly. That's crazy. You know like, what I'm like the I don't amount know. of work that he had to put in to do this shit is immaculate. Honestly, bro, just even the way he speaks about it sounds like he has like a passion for like one yeah. or two. You could tell that this is yeah, it's pure. Yeah, it's like, it's yeah, not it's not like he really, it's not cap. Nah, it's pure like, in his intentions. Yeah. He probably started going crazy when he started doing the research. Like, yo, like this shit is so wild. Like, he got wrapped up into it and shit. Like, it's yeah. Like, he even said on the live stream, he was like, "Yo, I stumbled upon this nigga's songs, and he's just talking about violent murders." Right. And he's like, "This can't possibly be real." Yeah. So he right. started researching it, right. and it turns out, nigga. It's realer than ever. Literally. Yeah, so going into that review, just going into that live stream that he did with Van Lathan, Academics was in there too. What was the other dude's name? Because he was Van Lathan name. and the Chicago dude. Uh, was the Chicago King dude? King Dave, I think. King, King Dave. Dave. Does he anybody got... know what relation he has to him? Because I didn't get to look that up, like what relation he has to Vaughn. I'm not sure. I think he's a Chicago resident, and Van Lathan set it up by saying that he's like a pillar in the community. Like, gotcha. I guess he's like a youth worker or something. He's one of the OGs. He's been... Yeah, he's one of the guys in the street. Since yeah. <laughs> but he got completely diapers. bodied in this debate. He got bodied, yo. Yeah, he got bodied. And I did not debate. like... So it's like... His heart is in the right place, but he's not aiming where he needs to be. Yeah, and and like, Trapler Ross, uh, Adam, that's somebody you need to look at on how to deal with yourself in that controversy. Mm-hmm. Handled himself correctly. He did. Didn't come off like a culture vulture. And it's like... You, as a person in Chicago, the dude, King Dave, it's like, you can't just come to the interview and say, I just don't like that you called him a serial killer. Right. It's like... What, uh, what Patrick That's say, what the whole thing was. Uh, you, didn't come with an, uh, you didn't come with an opinion. Your opinion has you. Yeah, you didn't yeah. have an opinion. Yeah. Your opinion had you. Yeah. Right. Yeah, that's exactly how he came. So, so it was just like, 
Trapler Ross is answering all your questions. He's asking, no, please tell me what's the <laughs> issue. Like, right. yo, how yeah. can I fix the this? The nigga was pleading right. with him. Yeah, he was. Yeah. He's like, how can I fix this yeah. to where it doesn't come off that I'm trying to vulture <laughs> off of culture vulture or throw dirt on somebody's legacy? It's like, but you have nothing to say. It's hey. like. At one point, what, what, what's the dude's name? I don't know why I keep forgetting it. King Dave. Dan King, King Davy. King, King Dave. At one point, the nigga was like, "Man, you really smart. You making some good points." Like he was just <laughs> reaching for the straws. He said that a few times. He, he, he said it a few times. Even one point, he was like, "I mean, he like if you rape a girl one time, are you a serial rapist?" Yeah. So it's like, all right, that. nigga, yeah, like, what, like, like, what like, are we up, doing bro. here? Shut up. Bro. What has yeah. just happened? Hood niggas have different, I like <laughs> methods to the madness. Yeah. They do. I was they do. This is rap, right? Glock 40, you know, a little side mm. change. Okay. This nigga was locked up, but his homie was doing an interview for him, like, you know, in the real world. Okay, so okay, he's okay. on the tablet. He's like, hey, this nigga got a question for you. It's, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. right. So one of the questions was like, um, like, how you feel about being locked up and what it will? This nigga said, you know, it's good now because, you know, back then I ain't have the best lawyers like I do now. It's like, nigga, what? Like, what? you're talking about you got better lawyers, so you're in it's a better okay. situation. <laughs> like, I understood. Like, I was like, I guess I get what he's saying. Like, <laughs> right, right, you know? right. But you got to have a different mind. They do. They man. think about things. And it's like. In a different manner. It's like he, he wants to, he really wanted to get on there a strong arm. That's yeah. what he did. He wanted to get on there and strong arm him to essentially. I don't know if his overall. I don't know if in a perfect world he would have strong armed him on that live stream and had him private the video or take it down. He wanted he to thought, do like I think he tried to use the whack one hundred approach, but he's not like whack one hundred. He can't just yell and make you feel scared. And right. It's yeah. also harder when the person is doing it from a righteous place, like Trap Lord yeah. Ross. He didn't yeah. make the video from a genuine like, place. I'm gonna get. Billions of views. True. He was just like, yeah. hey, oh shit! I just this is upon. my this is my documentary. That it was yeah. too this, well put together as well. This is my little passion project that like, I did. Yeah. So it was easy to defend that. Yeah. True, true. That's yeah. a good point. And plus, the nigga is a journalist that does his research and due diligence. You know, so it's like you got to come prepared with some bullet points. At least, my nigga, like you right. can't just be like, I don't like that you call him a serial killer. And, and then it's the like, nigga's a serial killer. And like he killed they, multiple people. And the points that they did. Messed up, he already corrected. Yeah. yeah. It's like integrity so high. You he was probably already at like a million views. Mm -hmm. Took it down and put it back up after yeah. the correction date. Like yeah. yeah, he was what more do you what, what, what more can you ask? And he was mad respectful. Like he could have just been like, King David, let's be honest. Like, nigga, let's be honest. Like, 